here now is our pork adobo in coconut juice. Ayan. Kakaiba siya guys. You have to try this. It's so good. To start, I have here with me 1 half kilo of kasim or pork shoulder or butt and I cut this into chunks and remove some of the fats. And now we have a boiling water. So we're going to put our 1 half kilo of pork and let it boil until it is slightly cooked for around 20 minutes. This cooking process is called parboil and we will remove the water. Here now is our parboiled meat or pork. Ito yung pinakuloan natin ng mga around 7 minutes lang para matanggal yung pula-pula and yung scum niya. Yun. And now we're going to marinate this. Yun. So this is 2 tablespoons of toyo. Yan. And 2 tablespoons of patis. So later on, when hindi na tayo mag-season, ito na talaga yung pinaka ano niya, sangkap niya. And then, this is 1 tablespoon of sugar. Okay, and then, maglalagay din tayo ng sibuyas. This is just 1 onion chop. And then, this is around 4 cloves of garlic. Ayan. So, we will marinate this for at least 1 hour. Or, if you have the time, mas maganda rin uh, to uh, marinate this overnight. Ayan. So, we will just mix this. Ayan. So, ibang klaseng pagmamarinate to before nagmamarinate tayo ng adobo or any meats kapag hindi pa siya uh, luto or raw. But this time around, we're going to marinate this na half cook pa lang siya. Ayun. So, ibang technique ito. And you will see later kung paano natin siya luluto and very very interesting din siya. Yeah, so you have to stay tuned for that. Let's now heat around 3 tablespoons of cooking oil. On a low heat, we will add 2 tablespoons of sugar. Ayan, and we will caramelize this. No? So meaning, lulutuin natin siya sa oil for 2 to 3 minutes hanggang maging dark brown siya. So, we will cook this in the oil until it turns dark brown. So, so right now, we will increase the heat a little bit lang. Huwag na masyado malakas. Around medium heat lang. Ayan. Para mag-start na siya mag -caramelize. At this point, you have to uh, make bantay. Ayun. <laughs> ano ba sa English yung make bantay? <laughs> you have to watch. You have to watch this carefully. Huwag niyong iiwanan because if you didn't watch uh, this process, baka madulok yung ating sugar and masayang lang. Ayun. As you can see at this point, mga around 1 minute pa lang, more than a minute, nagla-light brown na siya. So, in just a few seconds, this will turn into dark brown. Yeah, so as you can see, dark brown na siya. And kapag ganyan na yung kulay ng ating uh, oil, we will now add our pork. Ito yung pork that we marinated so long ago. And to this, we will add 
uh, one chicken cube no na I crumbled ayon so i mix natin siya ayan so mix lang natin siya until yung ating uh, pork becomes brown ayon as you can see guys very mabango na siya it smells so good here in the kitchen with all the marinade and the caramelized sugar na ginawa natin. Ayan. So, we will stir this for at least another 2 minutes. As you can see, after 2 minutes, look at the color of the pork. It is. It looks so good. It is a caramel, uh, deep brown siya. And the sauce, ang thick na niyang ganyan. But, we're not done yet. Okay, so, kasi hindi pa malambot ang ating pork. The pork yet is not tender. So, we will now go to our exciting part. Okay? So, as we know, sa adobo, we always put vinegar. But this time around, we will change the vinegar into this. This is coconut juice. And uh, you, you will get this, of course, by buying uh, buko. Itiatawag natin buko in Tagalog or coconut, which only costs around 25 pesos lang. I bought this for 25 pesos with the shell. Ayan. So, minsan-minsan medyo special naman. Yun, palta natin yung ating vinegar into coconut juice. Now, for those abroad, who doesn't have access to buko, like here in the Philippines, masyado marami yung ating buko dito. But abroad, uh, wala. You can use coconut soda. Ayun, in can. May mga coconut soda in can that you can buy in your Asian grocery stores. So, pukukuloyin lang natin ito sandali. Ayan, so we'll wait for this to boil. Now, since I don't have much time, I will cook the pork into a pressure cooker. Ayan. Okay, so kung wala kayong pressure cooker, it's okay. You can just boil this ordinarily sa stove top nyo. And, uh, syempre yung coconut juice is not enough, no? But you can add more if you like. Pero, I'm adding water na lang. Okay, so you can add water until maging tender yung ating pork. Now, kung pressure cooker, it takes around 15 to 20 minutes. So, I opened the lid of my pressure cooker. Ito na siya after around 15 to 20 minutes. And we're going to transfer it dito. Transfer natin dito. Now that our pork is boiling, we now add ito na quail eggs that I peeled earlier while waiting for the pork to be tender. Ayan. So, pinil ko siya. And, uh, the egg will be flavored with the sauce of the pork. As you can see, our sauce has reduced into half. And, ang ganda ng kulay ng ating eggs. Look at the color. It is uh, brown. Ayan. And our pork I am very caramelized yung color niya and the sauce has taken a bit so let's now taste our sauce mmm ang sarap niya nagahalo yung alat sa tamis ng ating sauce plus yung linamnam ng ating coconut juice Ayan. really really perfect you have to try this uh, ang sarap niya guys, nagahalo yung yung alat and tamis and yung linamnam ng ating coconut juice. Here is our finished product, our pork adobo in coconut butter with quail eggs. Be sure to try this recipe in your homes and I'm sure you will love this. Thank you for watching. Bye!